BioBrewers are designed to work with a variety of SureFlow diaphragm spray pumps. And uh, we've selected these pumps uh, specifically because the diaphragm motion in the pump that works similar to an accordion uh, is very delicate on the microorganisms and, and tends to do the least amount of damage uh, versus uh, a propeller-driven pump uh, where you'd have a you know, very fast-spinning propeller, the microbes passing down the tube and impacting the, uh, the propeller can do a lot of damage to the microbes. So uh, these pumps have been tested uh, to do minimal damage, and uh, SureFlow makes a variety of them. Uh, the ones we have here, these are 3.5 gallon per minute uh, AC uh, spray pumps, meaning that they'll plug directly into a wall outlet at home. Um, and then they also make 12 volt versions that can run off of a battery, solar powered battery, or um, can also run off of a, a vehicle's battery. Um, and on our website, uh, at biologicsystemsusa.com, uh, you can check out a variety of these pumps. We've listed the ones that we've tested and approved. Um, we've listed uh, multiple places to source them and uh, where to get replacement parts. Um, and uh, make sure to <clears throat> hang on to the instructions that come along with your pump as that will have a full detail on uh, doing maintenance on these pumps. So um, one thing I'd like to point out is the, uh, on the top of the pump, there's this one setting right here, there's a screw. And what this adjusts is the sensitivity of the on-off switch. Um, so <clears throat> these pumps are designed um, so that when you shut off the pressure at the end of the hose, it's going to click off the pump. And uh, if you're running a lot of hose, say, you know, several hundred feet of hose, uh, you may want to crank up the uh, sensitivity um, so that it will more easily uh, turn on and off the, uh, the hose when you pull the trigger over such a long distance of hose. Uh, but this has been factory set at the most optimum level. So in most applications, you'll never need to adjust that. Um, and at Biologic Systems, we like to mount the pumps onto, uh, onto a board. Uh, we even put some little rubber feet on there and a handle for carrying. Uh, for ease of use um, and you may find in your context uh, it's easy to mount it on a board or to mount it directly onto a wall um, if it's going to be stationary in one spot. So, um, so when you purchase the pump it's going to come like this um, unmounted um, and uh, wired and for our purposes uh, we're going to assume that we've gone ahead and mounted it onto the board and uh, all of the bio brewers uh, come with these two fittings right here. Um, that are designed to integrate the pump into the BioBrewer system. So uh, you'll want to look on the top of the pump and you'll see there's a little arrow that indicates the flow direction right there. Um, so this one's pointing that direction. Uh, so this is the intake on the pump and we're going to go ahead and put the female cam lock fitting onto the intake. And again, these same fittings work with a variety of uh, SureFlow pumps. And then we'll put the male fitting on the outtake right there. I don't need to screw them down too tight. All right, and there you go. Now you're all set and ready to start pumping. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the maintenance on these SureFlow pumps. And again, uh, detailed maintenance information is covered in the paperwork and literature that comes along with the pump. Um, so these pumps are diaphragm driven. And uh, uh, every year, if you're using the pump uh, regularly, uh, you'd want to change out that diaphragm and replace it as the diaphragm starts to weaken. And if you refer to the SureFlow literature, um, they have uh, estimates on the, on the lifespan of the diaphragms for all the different pumps. Um, so um, uh, replacing it annually is important. And then also, if you were to ever notice any inconsistency with the pressure in the gun, where when you go to spray it, it kind of sputters a little bit, um, it could mean that there's something clogging the diaphragm. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at the pump. Um, so to access, to get into the diaphragm, um, you just have to remove these six screws. And this is basically the same on uh, all the different SureFlow models. Uh, there's just six screws that go around the top of the pump right there. So I've removed those here. And, uh, and then the top of the pump just pops right off very easily. Okay, and then inside here, you have the uh, actual diaphragm, which pops right out. It's a very simple little gadget. <clears throat> You'll see here the diaphragms are these small little circles right on the inside. So, um, you know, the, uh, the plastic can bends back there and that's where the liquid actually passes through. Um, so that's where it would get clogged. You know, sometimes right in that seam, you'll have a little stick that'll get in there and prevent the diaphragm from opening and closing completely. Um, so when cleaning, uh, you can clean out the diaphragm if you have uh, some accumulation there. And then also on the inside here, um, the rubber housing, uh, you may want to get in there with a Q-tip as well. 
Um, so mine, you know, the pumps that we're using on a daily basis, I tend to about twice a year, I'll open it up, clean it all out really well, even if uh, there's no uh, issue with the performance of the pump, uh, just for general maintenance. Uh, and then we do change out the diaphragms uh, every year. Um, and then this part, the, the head, um, should you break the head of the pump, let's say you step on it or something falls on it and breaks it, uh, you can also replace these um, from SureFlow. And uh, there's a link on our website uh, that'll tell you where to get the replacement parts. So, um, so taken care of well, these pumps can last for years. And uh, you know, we have several of them that we've been using for three or four years. Um, so uh, you know, do your maintenance and uh, make sure to follow the guidelines from the manufacturer and it should be a great tool to last you for many years to come.